Hi everyone, welcome back to Weekly Cooking with Becky. Today we are going to do something different. I'm not actually sharing a recipe. Um, I've been asked by a few people what to do when you are busy and you want to just go, you want to splurge, you want to eat. And so I took a different approach this week. So what I'm going to do is first, we're gonna make these. These are uh, chocolate chip cookies by Enlightened. They are sold in the frozen food section. You can get them at places like Sprouts or Whole Foods, your whole like your healthy Whole Foods stores, but I will also tell you that Target um, carries Enlightened brand foods. So know that. I wanna say that some of the Fry's Kroger brand stores do too, but I know for sure that Target carries these and as well as your health food stores. Um, the only thing is they're in the frozen section, but they're gonna be like the old days when we used to do the peel and bake for Trader or Toll House cookies or Pillsbury where you just peel and bake. But we're gonna do this. No mixing, you know you've got company coming and you want to have dinner ready, but you don't want to um, break your commitment to a healthy lifestyle. So first thing I wanna show you is two grams of net carbs. I did look over the ingredients. It's 14 total carbs minus six grams of fiber, um, minus five grams of allulose. Allulose is an approved keto and low carb paleo healthy living sweetener. It is not one of the artificials. It is a, a totally legit sweetener, uh, plant-based. So um, what I will say is it's going to not be a clean keto. I'll, so if you're a clean keto, don't, don't watch this, but you can watch the second half of my video. You can just fast forward. Um, but if you're not strict keto, strict clean keto, if you're lazy, dirty keto, low carb like myself, healthy living, um, diabetic friendly, um, watch, trying to watch your sugars. This is obviously a sugar-free, um, there's, there's no sugar, so sugar-free, diabetic friendly. Um, yeah, you can have this. So they come frozen. I'm, I've never cooked these before, so we're in this together. So they come frozen, there's 12 in a bag. And they are. And you either want to put them on a lined parchment, I'm gonna to try to lower it a little bit more if I can. Lined parchment or silicone mat, just a few inches apart. I'm just gonna break them and place them. So, I love making these homemade, but I will say that there are nights that I'm like, man, I miss a cookie or something, and it wouldn't be nice just to have them like right here for us. So, I'm gonna make all 12. I will say that I've heard of other people that are probably much better behaved than myself and they will literally bake two cookies and they'll put these into a Ziploc bag back in the freezer and they just cut off the cooking instructions so you don't even have to have space for the box. You just cut off the cooking instructions and you put it in the Ziploc and you just take out one or two cookies at a time and then you don't have to worry about it. Oh, I've got even more space than I thought. All right, so here we go. They're all ready. So let me just check here. It says 325 degrees, uh, three inches apartment on parchment lined, or if you've got like a silicone mat, 10 to 13 minutes. Basically the outer edges are golden brown. So the insides might still be a little bit chewy. Once I see the outer edges are golden brown, I take them out, cool before removing. Hang tight, because I'm gonna tell you about part two, and then I'll meet you back later to show you the results from this and go over part two. But let me stick these in, I'll be right back. Since it said 10 to 13, I always go under, so let's go nine. Okay. While that's going on, I'm gonna do spaghetti tonight. Now, um, this is another one where you wanna have spaghetti, you wanna have people over and you're like, noodles, right, right? 
Noodles are loaded with carbs. Uh, a lot of the times over 20 to 25 carbs per serving and that's an entire day's worth of food. And um, I'm known for doing zoodles. You can do spaghetti squash. But sometimes when you have people over, um, they're not gonna want that. They want the noodle. Or sometimes you yourself might be missing a noodle. And I do have a previous YouTube where I teach you how to make homemade noodles. And I'm actually gonna put that in the description. Um, it's an Alfredo recipe with homemade noodles, homemade Alfredo sauce. So that's the only thing that's gonna be in my description is actually a link to another YouTube video. How crazy is that? Um, but that's what I'm gonna do. But that's because what I'm gonna do is, I, before I see you again, I'm gonna show you the cookies when I come back on. When I come back on, I will have already browned my meat and drained it. I will have already seasoned it. Season it however you want. Season it however you want. I like things like garlic seasoning, onion seasoning, Italian seasoning, some pink Himalayan sea salt, pepper, things like that. And then add in a no sugar added um, pasta sauce or make your own. That's another thing I've got to just stretch out with you guys. Please get a no sugar added. Um, I know a lot of people like Rayo's or Rouse, depending on, on what you say. I don't use them, I can't afford it. I will tell you on any given week, it, it could be Ragu, it could be Prego. It, this week, it is Kroger's brand of no sugar added. Aldi's makes a no sugar added. You need to read the jars, but I will tell you, um, I got very excited when Ragu and Prego came out with no sugar added at the same price as their other ones. Now Kroger is doing the same thing. Aldi is doing the same things. Lots of different companies are doing the same thing and they have the same net carbs as Rails, Rails, however you say it, but like five to $6 less. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna brown up my meat. I'm gonna season it, degrease the pan, season the meat, season the meat. That's one of the biggest things I've learned here. Don't season the sauce, season the meat. You don't always eat all the sauce. Okay, you lose some of the seasons. So season the meat, let it kind of get through there, then pour the sauce on top and then let it simmer for about 20 minutes. And then we're gonna do something that is gonna literally take two minutes, two minutes, and we will have noodles that will look and taste like noodles. And you can serve it to friends and family and you don't have to tell them. I'll show you that trick when I come back. So when I come get back, be prepared to see some cookies that are finished, and then I'll show you how we finish a spaghetti, and I'm showing you dinner and dessert in one tonight. All right, so I'll be back with the spaghetti portion in just a little bit. Okay, don't those cookies look great? Just place and bake, and you're done. So, as I stated before, I'm coming back for the spaghetti portion. I have had the meat, let's see if I can show you over there. The meat and sauce has been simmering on the stove here for just a little bit. And we are going to make the fastest noodles of our life. Egg life. These are egg white wraps. Uh, you can use them for egg wraps for sandwiches. Um, you can do them for breakfast wraps as an egg wrap and then add some like sausage, bacon, whatever. You, there's so many options for this. Uh, lasagna layers, you name it. One of them is a noodle. Let me just tell you a little bit uh, about them. Each wrap is 25 calories, five grams of protein, zero, I know there's a sticker over that, zero carbs, no carbs, and no fat. So, protein and 25 calories, no carbs, no fats. It's egg whites. So here we go, we're gonna open this up. And I have a cat right on the other side that's making this camera move, sorry. I gotta close up my face there for a second. She might make an appearance, you never know. So, we are going to turn these into noodles. I have heard they are very good this way. No, 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 sweetie. She's playing with, playing with my uh, daughter's school lanyard. Okay, so 
egg life. They're just wraps. And there are six of them. Two is a serving, but we're gonna make them really thin. And if you have a lot of people coming over, just do two packages, by the way. You can get these at just about any store. From Aldi's carries these, Sprouts carries these, Target, Walmart, um, Kroger, just about anywhere you go carries these. So super easy to find in the refrigerated section. All right, I've got them all lined up and I'm just taking a pizza cutter, showing you just how easy we are doing this. The only thing is, is we just gotta make sure that they're not cold. Oh, um, heads up, I went ahead and took these out of the fridge about 10 minutes ago, just so it would not take that long to heat in the sauce. So think of this as like the no, the egg, was it the no yolk um, noodles that you can buy at the grocery store that are literally made out of egg yolks instead of egg whites. The only thing is, is they'll still have a lot of carbs because they still have some other stuff in there that's not in here. Sorry she is messing with that camera, guys. But you'll see I'm making tons of noodles and I'm just slicing them and they're becoming, they're becoming noodles. No, what? So sorry about this. There she is. She doesn't mean to make an appearance. Um, okay, I lied. Yes, she totally does. But we love her. Okay. So, when you pick these all up, you see that they make tons and tons of noodles. So at this time, I'm gonna lift the camera and I'm gonna kind of walk this way with all of this. This is where it's hard because I know I've got to talk a little bit louder, but I'm gonna try to separate these really quickly. They just need to get warmed and it will not take very long at all. I'm just spreading them out with my fingers. We're gonna get a quick little stir through in the sauce and get plated up. So, so easy, so easy guys. Hopefully some of these will break apart a little easier. Anyways, I'm just gonna start dumping and stirring. It works. <laughs> Do you guys hear her? She's so cute. She's like meowing in the background. So, anyways, I can keep doing this here in a minute, but just to give you an idea, I have now got my sauce. I'm actually going to go ahead. My sauce is very thick. probably just bring a whole pan over for you to literally just see. This is literally just amazing, guys. I mean, this is a very meaty and delicious spaghetti. I'm going to get a pot holder and show you a close-up of this. I think that's what you guys need. It looks so, 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 so yummy. All right, let's see if I can kind of pile it up here in the middle, just so you can kind of get a pretty picture. Here we go. And there it is, spaghetti already done for you. You can see the noodle and have some flavoring on it. That was really good, guys. And I have not had a noodle in about two years because I've had doodles. <laughs> so anyways, that's great. So spaghetti meal, place some baked cookies. 
you can do this for lots of people and still stay on the program. So I know the tonight was just all about some dinner hacks to help you guys out, but I hope that these were value for you. And I hope that they're things that you can use in your future. All right, so with that said, there's that. I will, in the description, give you a link for homemade noodles with my Alfredo recipe that I did way back, but it also makes great noodles. And then enjoy. These hacks are great. There's no reason low carb should be hard. All right, take care everybody, bye.